Okay, here I'm going to go over a proper uh, technique to streak plates so you get beautiful plates that look like this. We're trying to isolate and or grow uh, bacteria, for example. So the goal of plate streaking, if done properly, you'll be able to take a small sample and either multiply it or separate it into isolated samples. So here we're just looking at multiplying it, and here we're looking at trying to isolate individual colonies. And if you look a little closer here, you can see these colonies are definitely different than these. So you might be able to pick one of these and then go through and multiply that on a separate plate. So that's the goals of plate streaking. Required tools are a petri dish, agar, uh, the culture you're dealing with, inoculating loop, and also a flame. Now we're going through and flaming the uh, inoculating loop. Here we're using a Bunsen burner. Uh, so it's important to keep in mind that the top of that middle cone is the hottest portion. You want to be way up here when you're sterilizing. You don't want to be way down here. That very top portion of that center cone is the best and hottest part um, when you're looking at sterilizing your inoculating loop. Uh, to transfer the culture, you want to sterilize the loop as I showed in the previous slide. Let it cool. So you don't want to just go directly from the hot flame to the culture because you'll burn and kill them all. Then after it cools, you want to pick up the culture from the stock plate, spread the culture using a zigzag pattern on only one portion of the petri dish, as you see here, kind of this back and forth motion. What that's going to do is it's going to allow through friction cultures to be transferred to the media on that petri dish. Then we're looking at spreading that culture. Again, you want to sterilize the loop a lot to cool. Again, that cooling, I can't stress that enough. Streak through the original area and spread cultures using that same zigzag pattern on only one portion of the petri dish. Repeat this process dragging through for most recent streak as you left off on. What does that mean? Well, here was our initial streak. Well, you can see our next one, we dragged through that initial one in the zigzag pattern again, stopped, re we, um, sorry, um, re sterilized the loop, uh, cleaned it, put it back down here went through that initial streak and again back and forth back and forth and this is kind of a way to help ensure we're spreading that bacteria and spreading it out well. Uh, this is going to be gone into what's called a T-streak which is kind of the formal term for this. It's a very common pattern used in microbiology labs because it looks like a T. You'll start here, you'll zigzag back and forth, you'll end here and then you'll go through and you'll drag through that and you'll kind of go through another area, re-sterilize the loop and do it a third time. So you can see here's our initial, we drag through that another spreading, and then a third. And if it comes out properly, it'll look like this. And this is great when you're looking at isolating uh, bacteria and individual colonies. And this then allows you to pick those colonies and then transfer it and multiply it on another plate at a later date.